Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to make a presentation describing both the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, <laughs> would you capture it or just let it slip? Yo, 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 the EI's membrane bound organelle, the sticks to the side of the nucleus of every cell. Some people would describe the complex system of flattened sacs, but I say no, it's much better than that. You see, the E to the I's made up of double membrane that's flattened and formed into the cystine. It's got fluid for passages in between to flow, lipids, proteins, and steroids throughout the cell, and so. I like to think of the cystine as a maze full of goo, but if there's just one thing I need to explain to you, is that the cisterna increases the organelle's efficiency of protein synthesis? This is because there's a higher surface area to volume ratio for a larger amount of ribosomes and in turn a higher rate of protein production. Yeah! You can't lose yourself with an EIC because all you really ever got to know of that transport system without the cell just broke it and it's still as well. Inside the cells there's two kinds of ER. There's the smooth ER and the rough ER. These two organelles serve for very different functions. What? You thought they were the same? What a stupid assumption. In fact, the rough ER packages and folds proteins. So it's almost like your mum, but it doesn't cook or clean. It just packages the ribosomes into membrane vesicles and then sends them to the culture body to do with them what they will. Certain organs require cells with lots of rough ER in them, like liver cells that make up the blood protein fibrinogen. Without these proteins, we would die from a tiny paper cut if we bleed out because we couldn't clot. And that would really suck. You can't lose yourself with an EIC because all you really ever gotta know of that transport system without the cell just promoting the limits of the steering swell. And the smoothie hour is important in a very different way. And although it has no ribosomes, it's still got a lot to say. It synthesizes lipids and steroids as well, and which it buds off to neighboring parts of the cell. Gamete cells require lots of a smooth ER, like a man's testes. Yes, you know what they are. ER makes the steroid hormones in the form of testosterone, and without it... I talk like this, my voice wouldn't be as low! Got it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I got most of it. It's uh -huh. just that bit about uh -huh. the uh, lipids. What are it? The lipids? <sighs> what is it? Uh, no, I got most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, I got a good portion of it, so. You can't lose yourself with the EIC because all you really ever got to 